Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, you're going to see how to deploy a Valtra Kubernetes engine cluster and then access it via Kube CTL. So if you're going to create your cluster on Valtra, I have $300 free credit of Valtra. The link is in the description. So if you come here under Kubernetes, you can add a cluster. You can also add a A100 cluster. This is a cluster with a GPU. If you need clusters with GPU to run your AI models, then go with that. In this case, I'm going to click on add cluster. I just want a normal cluster. So I will give it a name. I'll just call it sample cluster. And then choose the Kubernetes version. It's always a good idea to go with the latest version. And then if you want to enable high availability, you can do so. That is for the control plane. And this I think is $15. So just keep your eye down here. If I click on enable high availability, you can see it has increased with $20. That's the price of that. And then you can set up the firewall. You need to set up your firewall in advance to allow the different ports that Kubernetes uses. So in this case, I'm just going to leave that unchecked and then where do you want your cluster let's say i want mine in london so i'm going to go with london cluster capacity how many nodes do you want let's say i want three nodes the first node pool node pool is just a group of clusters with the same characteristics for example in this case if i was to create one it would be a cluster of optimized cloud and they will all have 2gb and two cpus and 4gb ram so as for the label, let me just call this pool one. But you can give it a name that makes sense to you. Maybe they're high performance AMD machines. And I want three of them. If you want another one, you can add it. So the first node pool, let's say we want it to be a high performance cluster. And it can be AMD high performance. And I want three nodes. That's This will be my worker nodes. Remember, the control plane is free. You don't pay for the control plane. This will all be worker nodes. And if you want to add another node pool, you can do so. So a node pool, in this case, you can add another, another node pool if you want. A node pool is just a group of virtual machines with, with specific characteristics. In my case, the first node pool has two CPUs, two GB memory and they are all AMD high performance. If I was to add another pool, I can choose something different. Maybe I want this to be optimized cloud or maybe I want it to be a cloud GPU and you can choose how many nodes in this pool and you can do your total calculation like that. I'm just going to delete this. I don't need the second pool. I'll just use the first pool of high performance AMD machines. The point is you can choose the type of machine that you want right there. The different Valtra cloud with different performances and different features are there. You can choose the one that best suits your needs. I will leave that like that and then I'll just click on deploy now. Give it time to deploy and then we're going to access it. After some time, the cluster is now running. If you realize that you've made a mistake and you want to delete it, you can just click there and delete the cluster and then deploy it once again. So I'm going to click on it. And this is going to give us the details about our cluster. So we have, we have three different machines. Each of them are two virtual CPUs and two GB of memory. And that is the total for our cluster. All the other details are there. You only have one node pool with three nodes. The IP address is there. The cluster subnet is there. The endpoint for your cluster is there. All the other features for your cluster are here. You can add a node pool to this cluster. You can remove a node pool, but of course you have to add before you remove. You can also resize your nodes. So if you click there on resize nodes, you can increase the number of nodes and you can also set up auto scaling. So if you click there on auto scaling, 
if you click there on auto scaling you can choose the minimum nodes and the maximum nodes and then apply so this is the minimum nodes and if you want the maximum nodes to be like six nodes so in case maybe there's a bump in traffic the cluster can automatically get can automatically get horizontally auto scaled horizontal just means it adds the number of nodes so you can only scale horizontally not vertically so if you were to scale vertically maybe the 2gb would become 4gb and so on but veltra only supports horizontal scaling to increase the number of nodes in your cluster if this is a type of setup you want you'll just click there on apply of course i don't want it to scaling i'll just leave it at manual but that is something that you can do and then I will close that linked resources so you can add block storages Vultra block storages can automatically get deployed using the yaml just look at the documentation and then you can manage upgrades if you want to upgrade your cluster you'll come here and you'll choose a version to upgrade to now i should have gone with version 130 so that in the next video we can see how to upgrade when i'm doing that video i'm just going to deploy another cluster and then firewall you need to set up a firewall for security and you can allow the ports that you want to allow and the moment you enable the firewall and attach it to a certain firewall it will automatically apply to all your nodes if you need a detailed tutorial just let me know i can set all this up All right, so let's go and uh, set up our cluster to work with kubectl. So if you've not installed kubectl, I did a video for Linux. If you are on Linux, you can install it using the video I did. The way I did it in that video, that's how you should install it. I showed you how to choose the correct version of kubectl based on your API. In my case, you can see if I come here under manage upgrades, you'll see my version is 131 so this means the kubectl that you should install should be either 130 or if 132 is available you can go with 132 i'm just going to download the configuration for my cluster and i can do Control j and i can open the file so there you go that is your configuration this is just a virtual machine on my virtual box and this is where i want to put the configuration for kubectl and manage the cluster so if you want to do this the configuration for kubectl the default config file is usually located here if you go into your home directory it's usually located here under a file a folder called dot cube now the folder doesn't exist so that means i have to create it mkdir and on the home directory create create the dot cube directory and inside of this directory i want to paste everything in there everything we've just downloaded from valtra i'm going to paste inside of a file called so i'm going to create the file delete vi and i want to create a file called config so this is a default file that kubectl will look at for your cluster configuration so i'm going to enter to create that file and then i'm just going to copy everything i'm going to copy everything from what i've downloaded into this file Control shift v There we go now that's the configuration for our cluster escape shift zz to save and now if i was to do cube ctl get nodes you'll see it shows us our nodes are there and if i was to come back here and go into nodes and resize the pool let's say now we want eight uh, that will be too much let's do six and then apply now we want six nodes so just give it time to deploy and then we can come back 
and when we do kubectl we're going to see all our nodes are there right now there are three and now if i do kubectl get nodes after some time you're going to see that there were five all our five nodes let's see how many we have you can see we have six nodes so there's one that is still being set up and once it's set up you're going to see you have all your six clusters all your six nodes right there and the version for your kubernetes for your kubernetes is there so i'll do control l and we can do dash o wide one two three okay so now all my six clusters all my six nodes are ready you can look at the different details for your nodes for example you can see all my nodes are running ubuntu 22.04 and you can get the external ip for every node is there and the container runtime is container d 1.72 1.720 and the kernel version is 515 so there you go that's how to set up your Valtra kubernetes and of course after this you can deploy your applications as much as you need to everything that's running on our cluster you can do cube ctl get all dash a there we go you can see what's running on your cluster you have pods you can see it's using calico csi valtra controller the csi is a valtra controller container storage interface allows you to work with valtra block storages and all the valtra i think it works with the i don't know that it works with the valtra object object storage as well there you go so you have a brand new cluster you can use it for whatever you need and that's it for this video if you have any questions let me know